Hey guys, Ron here. Excuse the traffic noise, but that's LA. A lot of traffic. Almost everywhere. It's a breezy day here. But today I'm going to bring you in front of the apartment building, who was, which was unfortunately the last home of Gail Russell, who had been a pretty, pretty good, pretty fair earning star in her day. Um, and unfortunately, in the end, it was not a mansion or a nice Santa Monica or Pacific Palisades or Beverly Hills or Malibu home. It was a little apartment in Westwood, which is still there. And so it's obviously been there since, uh, well, at least 1961. I'm sure at least 20 years before then, based on the neighborhood, because uh, UCLA is close by, too, and UCLA Hospital. Anyway, so Gail Russell was uh, never knew she wanted to be an actress. Her family moved to... Los Angeles when she was a teenager and quickly dis quickly she was discovered by the studios because she was a beauty had no acting experience uh, no you know creative drive that she was aware of but um, they brought her to the studio and gave her lessons and put her under contract and that was it for her really um, and that was with 1942 and 19, okay, we'll go this one with, with the little guy again, if you can see him. He runs the operation here. And by 1944, she did a film. And mm, Unattainable, Unforgiven, uh, on The Unexpected. I am apologize, I can't remember the name of it. It started with a U. I think it was The Unexpected. And she had such severe stage fright. And remember, she wasn't trained to be an actress that she started drinking um, basically in 1944, two years after she started working. And the drinking only got worse and worse and worse till it became an issue. But it took a while. She was acting for a while. She was getting fairly decent roles. She got married, um, separated within six months, but then they remarried and they were married again for a while the second time and then sorry about that quick turnaround and at that point um, things were going not well for her especially in her personal life she had a couple of car accidents she had a couple times when she hit people while being drunk and obviously in the 50s it wasn't you know we'll send you off to rehab and take away your license um, she hit people she hit a couple they sued her for about two hundred eighty five thousand dollars $285,000 in today's money. It was about $35,000 then. Out of court settlement. So I'm sure that hurt her financially. She must have been liable, responsible, at least part of it. Um, she, that wasn't the only time she got into a DUI type situation and where she was hitting people. She once drove her car into, uh, it was a grocery store or a bakery here on Beverly Boulevard in Los Angeles. So she was having a lot of problems with alcohol, and she knew it. She was not doing well on the set. She was basically going to be unhirable to that point. But like I said, no rehab then, so it was a little bit different situation. And by 1961, you know, she had fallen very far. She was in poor health, um, all alcoholism related. And finally, she decided to live alone in the little apartment, which I'm going to show you in a few minutes, and just try to dry out on her own. Um, but it didn't happen that way. So in a few minutes, I'll show you the apartment, and we'll conclude the sad and short life of Gail Russell, who was only 36 when she died, same age as Marilyn. Okay, folks, see you in a minute. Okay, folks, well, here is the apartment building. Really, all we can see is the entrance, and the rest is sort of behind a shrub there. But very sad because as Gail Russell spent her last days isolated by herself, uh, hoping to clean out and dry out, supposedly um, she died of uh, cirrhosis of the liver, acute cirrhosis of the liver. She literally drank herself to death. And she had a bottle of booze next to her when she was found dead. Friends hadn't seen her for several days, so they did what would now be called a welfare check. They didn't call the police, but they went in. And now yeah, she was dead on the floor, very sad, <coughs> and uh, had... A bottle of booze next to her, so obviously her attempts at drying out were not as successful as she had hoped. Okay, folks, so that's it for today. My name is Ron. I hope you enjoy my channel. I sure enjoy uh, doing it for you, making these recordings, these vlogs for you. 
If you do enjoy them, please give me likes. I would really appreciate it. And um, YouTube really likes it for their algorithm. And please subscribe. Most of all, please subscribe. And if you do subscribe, please hit the little bell icon next to the subscribe button. That will give you an indication of when I post. And if you care to, please give me comments. I really always appreciate the feedback. Okay, folks, again, my name is Ron, and I will see you at the next location. Thank you, and bye-bye.